What's good YouTube? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I have another video in our 2022 NBA Draft Player Breakdown Series. Today we're going to be going over Tennessee point guard Kennedy Chandler. Kennedy was a very hyped freshman coming into the season, very talented player. And so we're going to be covering his strengths, his weaknesses, all that. But more importantly, I wanted to hear what you guys have to say about Kennedy. So make sure you leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of his game, where he's going to get picked, who should draft him, all that. Leave those thoughts in the comment section below. And with that being said, let's get into the video. So just kind of a quick intro to Kennedy Chandler. Kennedy is a six foot, 170 pound point guard out of Memphis, Tennessee. He decided to play his college ball at the University of Tennessee, where he came into the season as a very hyped five-star prospect, someone who was expected to be a high first round draft pick. And I think for the most part, he accomplished his goals in his one season at Tennessee. He averaged about 14 points, five assists a game, was all SEC, all freshman team, all basically all the accolades you'd want as a freshman. And now uh, he's someone who is entering the draft. I think he's got a lot of upside in terms of being a, a good NBA player. Uh, I think he's got a lot of potential. And it looks like he'll be someone who is selected in the first round, maybe just outside of the lottery. But like I said, a lot of potential, I think, with what he can bring to an NBA team. So now looking at the strengths of Kennedy Chandler, I think there's a lot to like with Kennedy's game. Uh, he's someone who bring, can bring a lot to the table. I think the first thing to me that really stands out with Kennedy Chandler is the type of athlete that he is. Now he's an undersized point guard, but he makes up for a lot of that with his athleticism. He's someone who is a very quick twitch athlete, very quick with the ball in his hands, can get to his spots on the floor. Uh, both offensively and defensively, he's able to use that quickness. And then he's someone who in open court situations or just in open space can be a player who plays above the rim. He's very explosive, very athletic, uh, and can get up with the best of them in this year's draft class. Now, I think offensively is where a lot of Kennedy Chandler's strengths lie. I think that the big thing with Kennedy is his ability to score the ball. He's someone when his whole game is clicking, is very capable of being a three level scorer. And it starts with using his quickness and his athleticism to be able to get to the hoop. He's someone who in pick and roll situations, uh, if you switch that with a big guy, he's someone who is very capable of just blowing by the big guy and getting to the hoop. And when he gets there, he has a number of different ways that he's capable of finishing. A lot of mostly finesse finishes, but he's able to finish with both hands. He's got some crafty finishes there. He's got a little bit of a floater game to him where he can finish off one, off two feet there as well. And so that's really, I think, the start of his offensive game is just using that athleticism, getting to the hoop, and being someone who can get downhill and put pressure on the defense. Now, he's also capable in those pick and roll situations of being someone who can operate in that mid-range area. He's got a little bit of a step back game to him. He can hit pull up jump shots out of those pick and roll situations uh, if the defense drops. And so he's able to, to score in that second level or that mid-range area as well. And then the last part of it is his three ball. He's someone who is a streaky shooter. Uh, he's someone who in his one year at college was able to shoot 38% from three, but like I said, it was streaky. Uh, when it's clicking for him, uh, he's got good form. He's got decent mechanics on his shot. I think it's something that could come around, but it's just gonna be getting to the point where it's more consistent. But like I said, when it's clicking, uh, he's a very dangerous three level scorer. But I think there's also more to his game than just scoring the ball, especially as an undersized point guard. I think he's got some playmaking ability to him. He averaged five assists a game, or just about five assists a game, in one season at college, uh, which is, is impressive. He's a freshman, learning how to play the college game, learning a new offense, learning all that, and was still able to average nearly five assists a game, which I think is very good, and I think it shows that he's a capable playmaker, and I think when you give him more space, better players around him at the NBA level, I think he could become a, a very solid uh, playmaker at the NBA. 
Defensively, I wouldn't necessarily say there's a, a ton of strengths there for him. I think the big thing for him is gonna be that quickness. I think he's someone who could be a, a pesky defender at times if he wants to be. Uh, he's never really been asked to necessarily do that full time or have that be kind of his, his role, I guess. Uh, because he's always had such a, a big offensive role for a team but i think that if there was a strength to choose from defensively it would just be that quickness that athleticism and, and the potential of him being a very pesky uh defender and someone who teams just really don't want to deal with now in terms of weaknesses there's a few things i think that could really hold kennedy back at the nba level I think the first and most obvious thing with him is that he's an undersized point guard, six foot, 170 pounds. It's just gonna be hard for him to match up defensively with other guards, as it seems like the guard spot just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Uh, he's never really been asked to be like a, a Patrick Beverly, Beverly type guy, a pesky defender, but that might be something that he's gonna have to adapt at the NBA level if he wants to see minutes early in his career. I think other thing to be concerned about with him is his jump shot he's a streaky shooter in college he's got good form i think it's got potential but he shot only 60 percent from the free throw line at tennessee this last year and there's always kind of the saying of free throw percentage can be an indicator of three point percentage at the nba level and 60 percent is just horrible for really any possession let alone a point guard and so the jump shot's a concern. Uh, I think it's got potential, but it's just something he's gonna have to, to tune up, get right, uh, and become a better shooter. And then, I think lastly, he can be a little wild, erratic at times. Uh, in terms of being a little loose with the ball, in terms of his handle, his playmaking, can be a little turnover prone at times. And then there's times where he's a little ill-advised with his shot selection, can take kind of heat check type shots, or just kind of ill-advised shots, like I said, out of the offense. And so. Those are things he's gonna have to clean up and get better at at the NBA level. Overall, I think Kennedy has a lot of upside with his game. I think there's a lot of potential with him, especially considering the type of athlete he is. Uh, for being an undersized point guard, he can make up for a lot of that with his athleticism. And so I think there's a lot of room for him to grow. I think as he matures, as his game matures, and he becomes just more consistent, whether it's in terms of his shooting, playmaking, all that. I think there is definitely a role for him in this league. Uh, early on in his career, he's not gonna come in and be a starting point guard right away. So he's gonna have to earn his minutes kind of other ways outside of just being someone with the ball in his hands a ton. And so I'm interested to see how that goes. But like I said, I think there's a lot of upside for him. I think he's got a lot of potential. So leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of Kennedy, his game, all that. Where do you wanna see him get picked and by who? Uh, leave those thoughts in the comment section below. And that being said, I'll talk to you guys later.